So this is my Vulcan 900 2011 classic. Uh, going to replace the horn, the standard horn on the motorcycle with a Denali Sound Bomb Compact. This will be the sound of the standard horn. And to start, I think what I want to do is to figure out a good mounting location for the new horn. So this is the current horn location, and I need to make sure there's enough clearance. So the current horn is held by a bracket, and Being held, what I'm going to do is to remove the horns bracket first and then remove the wiring to the horn. So the bracket came off fairly easily. One screw. Now I'm going to remove the wires from the existing horn to positive and negative. So what I did here is a loose fitting and nothing's tightened up yet because I want to make sure everything fits. So I used the standard bracket and um, connected it to the Denali sand bone just to make sure everything fits and I checked um, the forks and the wheels to make sure there's no uh, obstruction uh, when I turn the wheel. That's very important. But again, I won't... Uh, <clears throat> be fastening anything just yet. Um, I'm going to, uh, when I secure the nuts, I'll be using some Loctite and uh, probably some zip straps as well to attach it to the frame just to make it extra secure. Um, so what now I'm going to do is root the wiring uh, to make sure everything is going to uh, be neat and tidy. And so I'll have to remove the seat and um, take off the cover over the battery and that'll be next. So I've taken off the seat. It's an easy process. All you do is you put your key in the seat lock, turn it, it'll pop off, and then you just lift it off. Then you have two Phillips screws I've already loosened um, on this side. Just one screw second screw and then you want to uh, just unlatch the wire from the support same on this side there's a little hook just pop it out and this plastic cover covering the battery just slides right out I suppose is your battery so I've taken out the bolts and what I'm going to attempt to do is just to slightly raise the tank so I can get a visual of the underframe under the tank and I'll use something non-abrasive to hold the tank uh, in position. Well, so what I used to uh, secure the tank here is the foam packaging that was in the Denali sound bomb case so I just put it under the tank and that gave me enough clearance but to be honest it's uh, it's tight work in there but uh, we'll get her done so this is the unpackaged Denali sound bomb sort of quick wiring setup so it's all plug and play uh, it looks fairly straightforward you have your relay socket that came with the sound bomb and that plugs into the excuse my camera work here plugs into the relay socket and that should be in close proximity to the battery you have your battery wire leads you have your positive fuse so when you're rooting the wires you just want to make sure that you keep everything away from any heat elements because you don't want the wires to uh, 
become vulnerable to any heat and get damage. And root the, don't, uh, yeah, and when I'm rooting the wires, uh, the zip straps are loose so I can make adjustments at the front when I connect it to the sound bone. And once that's all done, I'll route the remaining wiring towards the back and tighten everything up. I was able to use the stock bracket to attach the sound bomb. I did have to go and purchase just a longer screw at home hardware to attach the sound bomb to the bracket. Under a dollar, so it wasn't a huge investment. Uh, what I'm going to do is to also zip tie the sound bomb to the frame just for added security. Oh, well, I did the, uh, I fastened all the zip ties under the tank and re-secured the tank. Now, ugh, let's test this out. Ah! There we go. So, that's a good sign. Lights came on. Give a quick sound test. Remember what the other one sounded like? It sounded like a roadrunner about to have a fart. Now this one here is Denali Sound Bomb. <laughs> That'll scare the. So, also I had to purchase two extra bolts for the battery, some longer bolts from Home Hardware. Again, you know, a dollar cost, but uh, with the additional leads and my. Battery tender lead, the screws weren't long enough, so I just purchased some extra ones. And I bought uh, some 50 pound um, zip ties. So there's the sound bomb on the bike. I got some zip ties going on. I'm just going to cut the excess off so I have it attached to the uh, stock bracket secured extra with some zip ties and I think we're good to go. All done. Seats back installed. There's the sound bomb. Look stock. Looks good. Everything's neat. That's my baby Vulcan.